Kevin, uh, very, very excited to get your perspective. A wildly unique year in college football, especially for your Navy football program. So uh, how did you go about telling that story? This year's Army-Navy game was incredibly unique with the, where, with the location of where it was played. Uh, take us inside some of the highlights of your year. Um, so a little bit about myself, um, Director of, Navy, Director of uh, Creative for Navy Football. Um, we were lucky enough to, to play a pretty full slate um, at our, our conference, the American Athletic Conference, um, was uh, aggressive in, in scheduling. Um, so we actually ended up getting a, about 10 games or 10 or 11 games in, uh, which was awesome. Um, real quick about my position. Um, I'm designing a lot of content for recruiting, in-house use and social media. So it, it, it's all kind of comes into one thing. Our biggest thing is trying to reach recruits on, through social media. Um, recruiting is a big part of division one college football. A, a lot of coaches would say it's, it's the lifeblood of the program. That's how you acquire talent. It's how you continue to, to, to put the product on the field that, that you're proud of. Um, so it, and to that end, I design graphics that we send to recruits, design graphics that we go on social media. I also uh, record, edit, and produce content that gets put on our social media pages as far as video goes um, and just overall uh, maintain the at Navy FB brand voice um, pictured here is, is the commander in chief trophy. That's the biggest thing that we play for every year. Uh, that's the, uh, the, the three-way rivalry between us, air force and, uh, and army. Um, so my video projects, uh, since it's the sports video uh, group, uh, cinematic recap videos, particularly after wins. Um, I'm, most game days I'm shooting video. Um, I'm a big Sony guy. Um, uh, so I'm shooting video on the sidelines, both of the team reaction uh, and of, of game highlights. That also turns into in-house videos that we show to our team before before games as as, as hype. Um, I also create motion graphics and um, static graphics for in-game updates on social, uh, as well as quick turnaround videos on game day. Um, and of course, uh, you know, uniform reveals as well. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm a part of the process on that. Um, quick turnaround videos. So... Um, one of the biggest things for us is, is on a game day, uh, Brandon, like you were talking about, you know, you're not having fans in the stands. Well, that also for us means you're not having recruits. Um, so, and, and obviously that's the lifeblood of our program. So for us, we really took it upon ourselves on, on the social side to bring a recruit in on what it's like to, to be a Navy football player on game day. That becomes, that's our charge throughout uh, a normal season. And that becomes double when they're, they're not allowed to be there. Um, so the biggest thing that, that I, I do during the week is I make sure I communicate with, with our interns. Um, we were lucky enough to have a, a really strong uh, video intern, uh, Quinn Snyder, who did a great job for us um, and, and make sure that, that he's in the right spot as well as our um, designer slash uh, social intern, uh, Quentin Cooper. Both of those are, are midshipmen who are, you know, um, day in and day out living life as a midshipman and then on their spare time they come and and, and learn about um, the creative side with us and they just want to be in, involved in football they want to be involved in the creative side of football and so all the time demands of being a midshipman on top of what we're throwing on them uh they're they're really just two impressive guys um so we meet week weekly with them to go over goals expectations uh, and, and and some notes from the previous week i make sure i have a shot sheet i'll planned out and prepped for them. Um, and then once we get into the game, the biggest thing, once we get into game day, the biggest thing is, is turning content around. So making sure that I coordinate with them so that we're able to get content turned around. So here's an example of that. It's official. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. On the bench, trailing my city. Fluid Mayweather, you come to my brother. So that's just a real quick video, right, of our team getting off the bus, getting it, heading in the stadium. Uh, we work through our, our influencer program. Um, they, they help us with a lot of the music licensing. They've been a great asset to us um, as we continue to create content throughout the year. Um, and, and really, we try to make sure game day is the place is, is the place to shine. Um, and of course, Army Navy uniform reveal, another component of, of what I do. Um, I've been here for two seasons now, the 19 and 20 season. Uh, the 2019 theme was uh, the Brotherhood. Uh, that was a, a uniform designed around two of our Heisman winners, uh, Roger Staubach and Joe Bellino. And then this past year, Power of the Sea. Uh, and that's a collaborative process, right, of, of, between uh, different NAAA employees. Uh, Molly Marshall, the, the director of uh, creative for NAAA, uh, worked closely with her as well as our partners with, with Under Armour and with equipment um, to make sure that we're helping recruiting, making sure that we're making that recruiting splash, but also uh, making sure they're driving the merch sales and, and raise, just overall raising awareness for the game. Um, 
really in, um, enjoyed working with them this year. Uh, we got to bring in a couple of, of fantastic content creators, um, James Quantz, um, Matthew Bergbauer, a um, couple of people that came in and helped us with shooting the reveal and the stills, all the assets that went along with that. Um, very, very happy with how that all turned out. Um, I would say numbers wise, that's going to be the highlight for us this year. Um, but honestly, just lucky to have a season.